Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can put a floor tile to the floor with ARKit. So let's get started. Now let's open up our Xcode project and let us just uh, commit what we have uh, made in the previous video. So I will just add extension here and I will just show you the extension in just a minute that we will use today. So here is our extension and it is extension of our integer and it says degrees to radians. So when you try to set uh, SC and nonce rotation then you have to add it as a degree a radian but we are used to degrees like 90 degrees 180 degrees or 360 degrees so this is a convenience that we will use in this video so uh, before we do that let us just create our new branch here and i will call this okay let's create this and as you can see we are in the current branch and now we are just simply going to select our game view controller and create a function that adds a flow so let us just go here under a reset scene and type in func and create floor and um, this will be at the anchor of our scene so whenever this renderer puts out an anchor that is of course uh, casted to an AR anchor a plane anchor we will add a SCN plane to that so we need to provide our anchor here so okay and it will return a simple SCN node okay pretty simple so let us just create our node first and let's construct it with an empty constructor and let's return our floor so we might get rid of that nasty uh, error okay and let's build it well xcode caught up and we don't have that error anymore no how do we want to position and what do we want to do exactly with this floor node? Well, first of all, we want to give it a geometry. So type in floor.geometry and that will be as SCN plane because we want a plane. So we will have it with our width and height. Now, a plane by default is set uh, into the scene as a vertical well, plane. So we need to rotate it in order to become a floor. So to do that, before we add our geometry, let us just add our uh, Euler angle. So, and that will be an SC and vector free and it has a zero, three very valuables here and the first one is that we will use the x value so we will tilt it to uh, be uh, vertical so horizontal so i'm sorry so we will add here 90 degrees and here i will just type in degrees to radians and this is how we will make this not a plane a vertical but a horizontal a flow so our width will be and we will use our anchor here anchor and here we will use our extent and our x value and for the height we'll use also our just tab onto that we will also use our anchors extend and now we we will not use the y value we will use the z value because now as you remember we have tilted this plane now so we will use this z value okay 
good stuff. Now we need to add a material to, oh, of course, first of all, let us just uh, fix this program because we need a CG float and uh, we do not uh, add CG floats as our anchors extend. Okay, now let's add our material. So floor and as you uh, can remember here is our geometry uh, first material diffuse contents and we add our UI image. So let's just type that in and let's add our material conveniently named material. Okay, now one thing that uh, we, you, if you run this now, uh, you will see that we cannot see, you cannot actually see the plane, only if we would go under it, but since we cannot go under the flow, we cannot see this. That is because we have tilted with 90 degrees our uh, plane and we need to set the first materials diffuse to be um, on both sizes, uh, both sides. So let us just do that now. And it is pretty simple because we just need to add here floor dot geometry dot first material dot diffuse and is uh, well uh, we don't need to add diffuse is double sided and we type in true. Okay, what is up next? Well, we need to set the position of our floor and we will use our anchors center to set these new floors position. So floor dot position and again we will use an SEN vector free and now for the X value we will use our anchor dot and now we select center dot and our X value and accordingly our Y and Z values. Okay, and of course now we return our anchor dot center. Sorry about that. We return our floor. But where should we add this create for? Well, it's pretty simple. Once the device detected an anchor, then an anchor plane, then we should add a floor to that node. Okay, so let's type in flat floor equals to create floor and we will provide here our anchor plane and of course we will add this floor this node floor to the node that is created when a new anchor is found so let's type in a node dot add child node and floor okay and that should be it now that we have this uh, floor added once every time the device detects an anchor, we want to create some kind of uh, removal when we update our floor and we remove our floor. So for that, I will just create a simple function here. And that will be a string because I don't want to remove all of the knots and for that I will just name my knot here floor dot name equals to floor okay and uh, as you remember in the previous from the previous videos we can simply remove knots like so let me just go back up here remove all boxes and here we are AR view scene and I'll just simply copy all of this put it in here and I will just change the name here to named okay this will enumerate for all children and nods from the scene and it will remove them so what we want to do here is when an update is made we want to remove nodes, all of the nodes of course, because we enumerate through all of them with the name floor. And of course, after that, we want to create a new floor and add it to the anchor that has been found. So let's just copy and paste that. And of course, if 
we have a did remove we just simply remove not named floor okay and as if you would like you could add it to the remove boxes and the reset scene uh, if you would uh, uh, prefer this shortened function okay that is it for the code now let us just try this out and see what happens okay here it is and once i go and pan over the floor you can see already a huge tile has been added to the floor if i just go back here as you can see it is updating and uh, re-adding re new and bigger tiles let me just go even bigger here you go even more larger larger good now now you know how you can add these floors to the anchor points i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel or maybe go ahead and visit rebeloper.com and as always i will see you in the next one